Hi, welcome to the podcast. Uh, this is Mr. Kresselt again. And in this video, what I want to do is to take sort of a more advanced look at drawing files. Um, by this point, if you're watching this video, you probably already know how to make a drawing file. You probably already know how to place in the, the views and project the views, um, as well as dimension your sketch, um, the basic length, width, and height dimensions. What we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to show you how to um, do some hole and thread dimensions, as well as get like a cross section. Um, and we're going to take a look at some other um, ways to show the details of your of your project. So here we go. Um, first thing we're going to do is why don't we um, we're going to I'm going to show you how to add some dimensions to this counterboard hole right here. So to do it, we're going to go up to annotate. Whenever we add any sort of words or dimensions, we're always going into annotate. And right here, there is a under feature and notes. There's a option for hole and thread. I'll go ahead and click on that. And what we can do now is we can take um, some of these um, like counterboard holes that have you know three different dimensions. Uh, we can just simply click on the counterboard hole and drag it out, and it will give us all three of those dimensions in one single mouse click. So if we kind of I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, and what this shows us here is that the diameter is 13 millimeters, and the hole goes all the way through. The U channel area that I call it of the counter bore that has a diameter of 18 millimeters, and it goes down 10 millimeters. Does that make sense? So if we take a little closer look at it, this area right here from the bottom, that's 13 millimeters, and it goes through all the way. The top diameter is, is 18 millimeters in diameter. This is a symbol, symbol for diameter, remember, and it goes down. 10 millimeters. That's the distance from the top to the bottom area of the U shape. So that's how we do that. What I'd like to do now is let's go ahead and um, you know show you how to grab a cross section. Grabbing cross sections are a really good way of um, you know showing the inside uh, portions of your project. Imagine um, cutting an apple in half and showing the seeds on the inside. Um, that's a cross section that you wouldn't be able to see just from the outside. Um, so for this part, if we want a, a cross section, we just click on the section tool, and what what this will do is it will show the internal you know details of of our part. Um, we click on section, and then we have to simply click on the view that we want a cross section of. And in this case, I want a cross section of this base view here. So I hover my mouse on top of it, and automatically the area kind of turns re red. There's a red dotted line around it. I'm going to click on that. And now I, you'll notice that my, my cursor turned into more of like a crosshairs. I'm going to draw a line right down the middle here. That's where my cross section is going to be. So if we actually had this part, imagine us running it through the bandsaw to look at the inside of this hole. The line that I'm about to draw, that's where we, the bandsaw blade would be. So I, I clicked on from here to here, and right now the line is still going. So we have to right click. Once again, that's a right click, and I click on continue. As soon as I click on continue, I have a box up here, and I have this my cross section that's kind of jutting out to um, on the horizontal, you know, left and right um, plane here. So I just drag it out to where I want it to be, and I left click it. And it gives me section um, title, section AA, um, scale size is one to one. Um, you know, I could adjust all that with the um, with the dialog box that was up just a moment ago. But there you have it. That is my cross section. Last thing I want to do is just to show some details. Um, sometimes on a certain projects, there'll be uh, maybe some kind of um, component or part or feature. Of your of your project that you want to sort of um, exemplify in your in your drawing, and that's really simple to do with this button right up here, the detail section. What it does is it creates an enlarged circular view of a particular part or feature. So once again, we just click on feature, and we have to select the view that we want the um, detail of. 
I want to click on this one up here this time. Once again, I see that same red box creating a square around it. So I click on it, and I get this, this box right here. And to be honest, there's not a lot that we're going to mess around with in there. You know, once again, we have these three style boxes that you know about and the scale size we could change. But I'm just going to go ahead and, tr and draw a circle at this point. And it, and it draws a circle. You know, it starts right from the center here. And then you and then you can actually just drag this right out. Now, I'm going to left click right here. And there, it puts it right in the middle. I'm going to drag that up a little bit. That's how you would create um, like a close-up of one of your features. And you know, in this one, I I kind of would I'm wondering how much having this actually helps better communicate what my part is. So sometimes less is more. So to get rid of it, you just right click on it and then you go down to delete. And it's asking me if I'm sure I want to delete um, view B, detail B, and I sure am. I'm going to click OK. So that's some, some of the more um, semi-advanced steps um, for creating drawing files.